accounting for inventories. And this module is very important, you know, because in this module we will learn the accounting system for inventories that is followed practically in our organizations. So there are two, in fact, accounting systems which are followed to maintain inventory in our books of accounts. This is perpetual system and periodic system. Look, perpetual system means that after recording each transaction, we shall get the balance of our inventory with us. This is the balance that physically would be available in the store as well. So our books of accounts, which is in fact the ledger, will be showing us the updated balance of the cost of inventory available in the store. This is perpetual system of maintaining inventory. And there is a method which is periodic system of maintaining inventory. This periodic system is a method which is comparatively easy to follow and convenient for the accountants as well because under this periodic system the accounting which we do for inventories does not give us balance of the cost of inventory available in the store. So how we get to know the cost of inventory available in the store? We wait till the end of the reporting period. At the end of the reporting period, what we do? We physically count the inventory available in the store and then multiply that inventory with the cost per unit for that inventory as we worked out in the first in first out method or weighted average method in the previous module so that is very easy we don't need to keep any complex accounting system with us this periodic system of inventory maintaining is followed by the small organizations or the organizations which are having inventory of less value or the sensitivity of the inventory in the store is not that high in terms of its risk of loss. Okay. So we will see what accounting system we adopt or what type of accounting entries we do for both of these two perpetual and periodic system of inventory maintenance. Let's see accounting entries for perpetual system in which at the time of purchase of inventory the purchase is recognized as asset. So we debit inventory purchase account as an asset and credit bank account or creditor's account as a liability. So if we are crediting bank account, it means there is a cash payment or if we are crediting creditor's account, it means there is a liability with us. And the second entry is issue or usage of the inventory when we sell this inventory to the customers. Here remember that we are maintaining accounting entries for the inventories just to know the cost of the inventory after each transaction. So when we are buying inventory, the inventory purchase account is debited and when we are using that inventory, that inventory purchase account will be credited so that there is a decrease in asset. We 
recognize this inventory purchase as an asset okay so this asset will be credited along with its debit to the consumption cost or cost of goods sold whatever the account you want to use so that consumption account or cost of goods sold account will be debited next comes accounting entries under periodic system of accounting that we maintain for inventories well in this periodic system the purchase of inventory is recognized as expense so we know very well that whenever we purchase goods we pass accounting entry purchases account debit and bank account credit you are familiar with this accounting entry so in fact from our start of learning accounting we follow periodic system of accounting maintaining inventories where whenever we buy goods we debit purchases account and credit cash account or bank account or creditors account okay so this purchase of inventory will be debited to the purchases account as an expense under periodic system along with the credit to the bank or creditors account and when we are selling this inventory we also pass accounting entry for the sales means cash debit and sales credit or accounts payable or debtors debit and sales credit but as to reflecting the cost of sales we do not pass as any accounting entry we do not pass any accounting entry in which the inventory cost is credited that inventory cost was credited in the perpetual system of accounting while issuing inventory or selling inventory so remember under this periodic system for the issuance of inventory or for the selling of inventory we will not pass any accounting entry to reflect cost of inventory issuance okay well the story comes to the end of reporting period when we transfer the opening balance of the inventory and all the purchases made during the year to the cost of goods sold so what we will do during the year we will keep debiting purchases account along with the credit to the bank cash or creditors account for each purchase of goods accounting transaction so purchase debit cash credit purchase debit bank credit purchase debit creditors credit so on so forth complete year is gone so after that year and what we will do at the end of the year we will transfer all this purchase account to the cost of goods sold account under this periodic system and opening inventory will also be transferred to the cost of goods sold account if you do recall your memories what do we do while preparing trading account we add opening inventory and purchases together so this is the accounting entry behind that adding opening inventory with the purchases in trading account okay well so after closing this purchases and opening inventory into the cost of goods sold now we will discuss adjusting entry for closing inventory where we debit closing inventory account and credit cost of goods sold account what is this this is in fact the adjustment of excess amount of purchases that we have transferred to the cost of goods sold as an expense so this is a sort of wrong treatment that we did that 100% purchases were transferred to the cost of goods sold after knowing the cost of inventory or the value of the inventory what we will do we will debit that closing inventory with the valuation of that inventory and we will credit this cost of goods sold so that the cost of goods sold is adjusted with this closing inventory and that closing inventory will be 
recognized as an asset in the balance sheet. By the way, what we have already learned in our earlier accounting modules was based on periodic system in which this accounting entry was passed purchasing for which this accounting entry was passed for each purchasing transaction okay and when we prepare trading account we used to do this accounting treatment that opening inventory and purchases are added and closing inventory is subtracted from that so these accounting entries are in fact the base of the accounting treatment that we used to do in our usual accounting practices of a small entity or small sized businesses next comes accounting for abnormal and normal losses of inventory under perpetual system and under periodic system well the thing is under perpetual system we have to give credit to inventory for any type of loss either that is abnormal loss or that is normal loss because we have to keep our inventory updated for each and every transaction so under perpetual system inventory account credit and abnormal loss account debit and you know this is the abnormal loss which will be taken to the income statement in the operating expenses or this is the abnormal loss will that will be claimed or this is the abnormal loss that will be claimed or this is the abnormal loss that will be having insurance claim okay whereas if there is normal loss that normal loss will straight away be debited to the cost of goods sold account it will increase our cost of goods sold figure okay well whereas under periodic system if there is normal loss do nothing that will automatically affect our cost of goods sold thing okay whereas if it is abnormal loss purchases account will be credited and abnormal loss account will be debited that will be taken to the operating expenses or will have an insurance claim look why we don't pass any accounting entry for normal loss under periodic system because if we are not reducing our purchases account because of this normal loss so all those purchases will be added in the cost of goods sold so automatically the loss will be reflected in cost of goods sold if we are not reducing the purchases expense account got it yes this is the reason so important tips to remember the ittrs for this module are that perpetual system of inventory maintenance is adopted in those entities which are sophisticated in adopting a system whereas periodic system is very easy and simple to follow so the entities which are not having complex inventory related transactions they follow periodic system of accounting i trust you got this perpetual and periodic concepts very well thank you